Hey there, it's Marvin from Reamaze. And with today, today's tutorial video, uh, we're actually going to split it up into three parts. So this is part one of three. And it's going to cover how to integrate Reamaze with your Shopify account and your Shopify store. So in the first section, we're going to talk about the basic install, getting the widget on there, uh, specifically shout, the Shoutbox widget. And part two, we'll talk about how to integrate the knowledge base. And part three, we'll talk about how to embed an, uh, an embedded contact form. So to start off, this is our Shopify account, uh, just the test one. And here's the test store that we have. We also have a Reamaze account that we use for demoing. If you don't have a Reamaze account, you can actually in, uh, get one um, when you install the app. Uh, but if you have one already that you can use, you can sign up separately. Um, that's fine as well. So the first thing you want to do when you log when you're on the Shopify home screen, go to apps. Okay, you just ignore this one. This is a, one of our developer apps. Uh, go ahead and click on visit Shopify app store. And then you just want to search for reamaze. Click on the green gut button. And it's going to authenticate. So what you want to do now is just click install app. Okay, so now everything is going to connect up since we're logged in already. If, you, if you're not logged in, it'll ask you to create a new account. That's fine as well. Just go ahead and follow the, uh, the instructions. And once everything is connected, um, you'll be logged into the Reamaze dashboard within the Shopify dashboard. Okay, so at this point, we want to make sure that um, because we installed the Reamaze app, the widget, the Shoutbox widget by default should be installed onto your store already. So let's give the store a refresh. Okay, now as you can see on the bottom right, right hand corner, you'll see a um, what we call the Shoutbox widget. The Shoutbox widget is one of our best widgets and it's great because it acts as a live chat modal if you do sign up for live chat. And as you can see here, this is available for, for chatting now, but we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna show you a few different modes. And if you don't, want live chat this acts as a direct messaging platform as well so if your customers are on your site and if your agents are actually online and logged in through the dashboard they can push messages to each other in a real-time format and it's almost like iMessage um, so if you're familiar with you know sending text messages to friends or iMessages to friends it's almost exactly like that the agents can see that the customer is on the store and actually the customer can also see that the agent is typing a reply and all the messages sent back and forth will be delivered in real time. Now, if no one is online, the Shoutbox widget actually acts as a email contact form. So when no one's online, the customer can just fill in their name, their email, their question or comment. And if they hit send, the, the, the Shoutbox widget will actually deliver an email notification to your support team that you can reply to via email. So it seamlessly transitions between the three modes, and that's why um, the Shoutbox is one of those the most powerful widgets. So at this point, um, let's customize the widget a little bit first to make it fit into the site a little better. Right now you can see that you know this background is gray and the widget icon trigger is blue with the BMA's icon. So we're gonna customize that a little bit and it's super easy to do that. So what you wanna do is go back to your Shopify uh, account. Under BMA's, you want to go to settings Okay. Once you're there, you want to go to the widget builder under website integration. Okay. Now here's where we're going to customize um, the widget. Now, this is a on the fly widget builder. That means you don't need to know how to code. You just need to need, you just need to tell us what you want and we'll give you the code that you need to copy and paste into your Shopify account. So let's say I want a contact form. Okay, let's make sure the brand is correct first. So this is the Daffy Widgets brand, which is not the right brand. Um, our uh, Shopify account is actually Reamaze 2. So we just wanna make sure that it's connected to the right brand. So we're gonna go to Reamaze 2, okay? So as you can see now, this matches this, okay? Just wanna make sure. And then you want a contact form, all right? You want to load it as a Reamaze shout box. That's perfect. We're gonna click Next. Okay, now we want it to pos we want to position it a little bit differently. So let's say you want this widget to live a little bit taller and look a little bit more to the left. So we're going to do that now. We're going to do let's say forty pixels from the bottom and then forty pixels from the right, which puts it right there. 
And instead of the icon, we want to use the question mark instead. All right. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger call it 55 pixels. And you want the prompt to say, uh, ask us a question. Okay. And the prompt delay is two seconds instead of three. So after two seconds, it should pop up right there. Okay, and then the prompt duration, we usually set this to about 30 to 45 seconds. It's really your preference. Um, I'll leave it at 40 seconds. Okay, and the background color. Let's see, there's a let's see what some kind of highlight colors are. Maybe this orange here that might look nice. So let's do that. Let's do a nice orange. Try to match it as close as I can. Click choose and then click next. As you can see, it refreshes on the fly. Go ahead and click on next. So this part is really fun. So by default, the contact form asks the customer for their name, email, and message. Okay. If you want to collect a little bit more information, that's where you would do that. This is where you would do that. So field name, let's say you want to ask them which department they want to reach. Okay. So this is going to be a drop down field because you want them to select from a list. And the options are, let's say, sales, shipping. Um, support Oop. and partnerships okay so everything refreshes on the fly now you've added a drop down me menu here so customers can uh, check uh, pick one of the options here you can actually add another custom for field and maybe this one we want to call it like a newsletter if you have a great newsletter this is a great way to enroll them and this is going to be a checkbox field and we're going to leave it as checked Okay, that means customers will need to opt out instead of opt in. And the label will say, um, sign up for our newsletter. We'll make it a question. Okay, don't check the required field because that would be a bad experience. And let's do one more thing. Let's call this one metadata. So metadata allows you to track where the customer is on your site when they sent in this message or uh, question. Okay, so the widget builder, not the widget builder, the, the shoutbox widget itself is going to start tracking the customer's activity. And that way you'll know, you know, what page were they on when they sent this question. All right, so this is going to be a hidden field, because we don't want the customer to see that, um, since it's not really useful for them. And the value is going to be URL of the current web page the customer is on. Okay, select that. Okay, in the future, uh, we'll be, be able to track this um, in an even more live format. That means if the customer moves around in your site, you'll know that as well. And when we do have that updated, uh, we'll be sure to let you guys know. So just, you know, stay tuned to our newsletter uh, and also our blog. Uh, so as soon as we announce that, we'll let you guys know. So right now, the Shoutbox widget has name, email, a drop-down field for the department that the customer wants to reach, and a newsletter field, as well as a hidden field that tracks where they were when they sent this question. That looks pretty good. So we're going to go to next. Okay. Now, at this point, um, the widget is ready. So all you need to do is copy the script. Okay. Make sure you give it a, a couple of taps just to make sure it's really copied. And what you want to do is go to your online store. Okay. And we're going to click on the little three dots here and then go to edit HTML CSS. Shopify might change this around a little bit, but just look for this option here, edit HTML slash CSS. Okay, wait that. Wait for that to load. Now the main template you wanna edit is called theme.liquid. So go ahead and click that. And where you wanna paste whatever we just copied is right before the end of the head tag. So here's the end of the head tag, and here is the beginning of the head tag. So what you want to do is paste it somewhere in between. I usually like it just to do it right here, right after this. Go ahead and give it a paste. Okay, so everything is in there now. Okay. Uh, don't worry. You don't have to worry about making everything looks, look right, but that looks pretty good. We're going to click Save. Okay, Asset saved successfully. Now, we're going to go back to the test store, and we're going to give it a try. Refresh. And as you can see, the widget has changed. Now it's orange with a question mark. Uh, it's not showing me the prompt because I was already here. Um, it's only once per session. So don't worry about that. If you're a new customer, um, you can try it incognito. Um, try it on a different browser. The message prompt will pop up. 
So let's give it this a little click. And it's going to say name, email, department, um, sign up for the newsletter, and then enter a question. Okay. Now, what about this section? Um, this is what we call like the header part of the embedded shout box widget. And it actually lives with your brand settings. So within your um, Shopify account, let's go back to the app section. Okay, and then click on installed apps. All right, and then we're gonna go to the settings menu and we're gonna go to brands and make sure you're editing the correct brands. As you remember, the store is actually Reamaze 2. So it's the Reamaze 2 brand that Shopify is connected to. And we're gonna go to appearance settings for the embeddable widget. Okay, click that. And here's that little header background color. Um, so let's make sure that's the same orange. We'll, we'll, we'll try to get as close as we can. Click choose. Now, if you want the header font color to be white, that's fine as well. So white on orange, I'm not sure if it's gonna show up really well, but we'll give that a shot. Click update brand. There are other things you can do here as well, like change the link colors, the background color, the font, the, the, the font size, but we'll leave that for now. Click update brand. Okay, appearance updated. Let's give this another refresh. All right, so now it's orange. Hey, I think I did pretty well there. This one looks a little flatter than this one, but that's all right. And now the Shoutbox widget is definitely active. Okay, so everything looks pretty good. Um, well, I didn't get this color quite close to that one, but uh, let's give this, let's actually give this a, a try. So let's go back to the inbox and let's try sending a message. Okay, so live chat is enabled. Um, I wanna try live chat off first. So let's close this one, close that one, and just leave this one open. Let's give this another refresh and make sure this is off. Okay, so now live chat is off. So now we're in the direct messaging mode. Okay, so now I'm gonna send a message as a customer and the customer's name is Abby Thomas. Her email is Abby, this one, at live.com and she wants to reach the sales department. She wants to sign up for the newsletter. Can you help me place an order? Okay, let's click send. Okay, so now the message has been sent. Thanks, your message has been submitted. You'll receive a response here or via email. So let's go back to Shopify. Oh, look, it's there, it's, it's arrived already. So Abigail just sent a message. Can you help me place an order? And it's through the support via widget channel under the Reamaze 2 brand. Right now it's unassigned because no agent has been has responded yet. So go ahead and click on the link. Okay, now by direct message, we mean this thing right here. So as the agent now, you can actually see that the customer is online and actually browsing on your website. This is really powerful because now if, you know, if I reply as um, Olivia here, uh, back to Abigail, Abigail will actually see a message, um, a little prompt that pops up to notify that a, that a reply has been sent. And you can also see on the right-hand side here that um, Re, uh, Rhea Mace has pulled in all of Abby's or Abigail's Shopify order information. So she has two total orders. Total spend is about 70, 70, $61. Uh, it has not been fulfilled, but paid. Okay, and her, you can also see her last order um, date and number. So that's all really useful. And based on the metadata stuff, we see that Abigail reached out to the, your support team from remaze2.myshopify.com. She wants to reach the sales department and she does want to be enrolled in the newsletter. Now, if you have our MailChimp integration um, connected, you can actually just subscribe Abigail to this list. We'll, we'll call this the FEF list, okay? And there are other, some, there are some other customer data attributes that we have for Abby, um, but as you can see, there are custom fields here, and there are custom data attributes here from Reamaze, and then also from Shopify. So with these three pieces, you can actually you know, piece together a very good customer profile. Now, since Abigail's online, let's go ahead and send her a reply. Abby, hi Abby, glad to help. Okay, we're gonna hit respond. Now you'll see that Abby from the store, she's just received a message from Olivia, so she can hit reply and the modal refreshes, and it's almost like live chat. 
right? So without live chat, you can still have a very interactive conversation with the customer um, through direct messaging. So now let's go ahead and close this widget. All right, we're gonna kind of go back to the inbox here and we're gonna turn on live chat. All right, so live chat is on now. Let's go ahead and give this a refresh. Let's go back. Okay, so now we have a fresh contact form. Now Abby wants to send another message. Okay, and her question is, uh, help me with shipping, please. Okay, so now we're available to chat. Now if Abby hits chat, you as the agent will receive a prompt here to start serving this live chat. So you're gonna click serve one request. Okay, it's going to open up in the live chat dashboard. And now it says chat is live. So you can start chatting to the customer uh, just like any live chat platform. And then once you're done, hit end chat and you can convert the chat into a regular conversation that you can keep track of through email. All right, um, there are also certain other things that you can do. Um, for example, if you want to change uh, the text here, you wanna change, um, Let's go back one more time. Okay, you can change the contact us, you can change name, you can change email, you can change the little prompt here. Everything on this contact form, all the text, all the customer facing text can be customized. And you just wanna go to settings, brands, okay? And then under the reamaze 2 brand, just go to text customization. We actually have a separate video tutorial for this. So I won't be covering that in detail here. So at this point, everything's connected. You have the Reamaze shout box implemented, customized, and working within your Reamaze dashboard. So you can start talking to customers now. And in part two, we'll go over some some more features from the Shopify integration with Reamaze. And uh, I'll see you guys later. If you have any questions, shoot us an email at support at Thanks.